Hi everyone. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add random points within an area of interest, like within the vector polygon, as you can see in this uh, example, by specifying a, a specific distance between all these individual points. So in this example, I have randomly generated 100 random points within this vector polygon by keeping 20 meter distance between all these points. So in addition to that, I'll be showing you how you can extract the corresponding coordinates of all these points into a CSV file like this. So here you can see the longitude and latitude of all those 100 points. So let's begin this tutorial from scratch. So I have opened my QGIS and I'm going to choose a new empty project. And the next thing I want to do is that I need to add a base map. So I'll get an idea about the location of my area of interest. And for that, uh, you have to go to plugins and go to manage and install plugins and you have to wait a few seconds and here you have to search quick map services this particular plugin and you have to install it i have already installed it so i'm not i'm not going to do that again so i'm going to simply close this and if you go to web option and quick map services you can find osm map osm standard so i'm going to choose this particular base map Okay, done. It has appeared here. And the next thing you have to do is that you should be ready with a shape file or a vector polygon of your area of interest. In my case, I am already having it. So you need to drag and drop this particular shape or vector polygon into the QGIS canvas. And this is in geo package format. Sometimes these will be in .shp format, what we call shapefile, or sometimes uh, these vector polygons will be in uh, GeoJSON format and all. Anyways, I've, uh, I have added the shapefile onto the base map and this study area polygon, is, uh, the link to download this polygon, I have provided in the description below. Just check it out so that you can do it yourself. The first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to right click on this uh, steady area polygon, go into properties and change the fill color by choose by going to control feature symbology, then simple fill. And here I'm going to choose, uh, I'm going to make it transparent. This It's going to be a transparent fill now. And I'm going to increase the stroke width. So this will increase the, uh, you can see when I click apply, can see the the thickness of boundary line has increased when I increase the stroke width done and I'm going to make the base map uh, transparent by right clicking go into properties and here you can reduce the global opacity hmm fine and this uh, vector polygon corresponds to the metropolitan area of Kochi city uh, in Kerala India Okay, done. So now we are ready with our area of interest. The next thing I have to do is, is to uh, generate random generate points randomly within this particular polygon. For that, uh, you have to go to vector, then go to research tools, and there you will find random points in random points in polygons here and also random points inside polygons. So this one is a little bit advanced uh, option. But uh, I would prefer this one. This is relatively simple. So I'm going to choose this option. <coughs> so something like this will be a window like this will be opened. Here you have to specify the input layer in which you are going to generate random points. That is going to be my study area polygon. And the sampling strategy is going to be point count. And there is another option called point points density. We don't need need that now. Point if you uh, if you specify point count you can uh, also specify the number of points you want to generate within that polygon so i'm going to specify 100 and in the next step is that you have to set the minimum distance between the points as i had shown you earlier in this video the minimum distance was 20 meter so i'm going to specify 20 here wait you might have noticed by now so the unit is in degrees so the distance the unit of distance distance measurement is in degree so when i specify 20 here this is going to be 20 degrees distance between each individual point and that is going to be 
uh, very large so how can i specify the distance in meters let me explain so i'm going to close this uh, for the time being and if i right click on this polygon and go to properties and if i choose information you can see the coordinate reference system so the coordinate reference system of my vector polygon of my area of interest is epsg 4326 let me uh, let me simply google it epsg 4326 and you will find something like this this, this website epsg.io just open it this is our coordinate reference system okay now you will get the details about the this particular coordinate reference system and this is for the entire globe you can see all countries all continents here so this coordinate reference system can be used for the entire world and if you are using EPSD 4326 then the unit map unit is going to be in degrees and that is the reason why when we were specifying the minimum distance uh, the unit was in degrees so what can we do now I mean specifying in degrees is a little bit complicated but if it's in meters then things would have got much easier so how can you do that <coughs> let me show you so my study area is Kerala so Kerala is a small state in the southern India so I want to see uh, you, you saw right this particular CRS is for the entire world and I want to know if there is a coordinate reference system only for my area of interest which is going to be Kerala Akochi is in Kerala right so let me search EPSG I'm going to search Kerala uh, Kerala the name of the state in fact you, you can't search the name of the city you better go with the states or the name of the state or the province so I have got something here EPSG 7781 and this coordinate reference system is a projected coordinate reference system specifically uh, made for the state of Kerala I'll show one more example suppose you are from you know Maharashtra or somewhere else okay let me search if there's a specific coordinate reference system for Maharashtra which is an another state in India so let me search it yeah there is a coordinate reference system so the spatial reference id of this coordinate this is going to be epsg 7767 so if you're working in maharashtra then it's always good to go with this particular coordinate reference system and a unit you can see it's in meter i think in the case of kerala also the map unit actually in meter so if you if you are vector data if your polygon is in uh, this particular coordinate reference system EPSC 7781 then you can specify the distance between points in meters so how can you change the co uh, spatial reference ID or the CRS of a particular uh, vector file as in this example it's simple what you have to do is that you have to right click you have to select this uh, layer steady area polygon and go to vector and there you will find data management tool here you can see an option called reproject layer so in this uh, if you choose this you can actually reproject your uh, vector layer vector polygon having a uh, CR so spatial reference ID of EPSD 4326 into another CRS uh, in which the map unit will be in meters so we are actually simply speaking we are converting or we are changing the map units from degrees to meters so that it will be convenient for us to specify the distance between points in meters so the target CRS uh, so the target CRS is EPSC 7781 right so you have to click here this option and here you can search 7781 it was EPSG 7781 right so here you can find under this projected drop down menu if you click there you will find transverse mercator click again and here it goes so when you, when I clicked on this particular CRS the region has been selected and the units you can see it's in 
meters as simple as that now all you have to do is just simply click run done so now we have got this was the uh, vector polygon which was having the EPSG 4326 coordinate reference system uh, and this is our reprojected uh, steady area polygon so if I keep the mouse cursor on that layer you can see the CRS the spatial reference ID has been changed to EPSG 7781 <laughs> anyways now I don't need this layer <laughs> done so I'm going to repeat I'm going to change the color of this uh, reprojected layer going to simple fill uh, we have already done this I'm going to increase the stroke width a little bit mm. done <laughs> I'm going to rename it by right clicking and choosing rename so this is the steady area reprojected layer <clears throat> let it be like that so now if I go back to vector research tools and random points inside polygons you can see the minimum distance can be specified in meters that's it so everything else is going to be same sampling strategy is going to be point count and I want 100 points within that area with the minimum distance of 20 meters between the individual points so this can be specified in kilometers feet yards <laughs> this is very convenient in fact <clears throat> so done so if I click run the points will be generated I'm going to close it see the points have been generated and the minimum distance will be more than 20 meter for example you can measure the distance by using this particular option click on this drop down menu measure line click on one point and click on the other point see the distance is 720 meters actually so it's much much greater than 20 meters anyways <coughs> that's it so now we have successfully generated random points and <coughs> now in the second step we are going to extract the corresponding coordinates of all these individual points how it can be done it's simple you need to install a plugin and before that I would like to uh, 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 I would like to speak. Uh, I would like to say something about another coordinate reference system, which is going to be EPSG three eight five seven. So in this coordinate reference system, also the unit will be in meters, and this has been widely used by Google Maps, OpenStreetMap, Bing, S3, and all. So we actually have a base map here, right? I'll increase the opacity. Okay, so we are actually having a base map here, right? So the coordinate reference system of this base map is actually EPSG 3857. So in this, the measurement will be made in meters. So you might ask uh, why, why I had to choose a specific CRS of Kerala. Instead, I, I could have just chosen this particular uh, EPSG 3857 CRS. The issue is that this this EPSG 3857 like the EPSG 4326 is made for the entire globe and the accuracy is not that great when it comes to when you're dealing with a small region or a small area so whenever you are dealing with a small area it's always good to choose a projected coordinate reference system specifically made for your state or for your province if you choose a crs like epsc 3857 which has been made for the entire globe the accuracy won't be that great but for large scale studies if you're studying an entire nation or a continent then you can just go ahead with epsc 3857 without looking for a, a specific crs okay that's it so i'm going to call back my repro uh, reprojected polygon and random points and now let's extract the corresponding coordinates of all these points and for that uh, as i mentioned you need to install a plugin i'm going to plugin go to manage and install plugin and here you have to search mmqgis i have already installed this plugin so you just do it i'm not going to reinstall again i'm simply going to close it and once you're done with installation you can find that plugin here mmqgis 
and you have to choose import or export ocean option and here you will find geometry export to csv file and this is what we are going to know our points are actually geometry right and we want to export these geometries into a csv file containing the latitude and longitude values so if i click there a window like this will be opened and the input layer is going to be our random points right and the output uh, file is going to be you can specify the destination so i'm going to save it in my desktop and i'm going to name it random random points okay so i'm simply going to save it and if i click apply you can see 100 points exported i'm going to close this uh, let me go back okay here it goes our random points so if i open it you can see the first column shape id starting from 0 1 2 3 it goes until 100 and this x and y you might be wondering you are not familiar with this particular format of format we are familiar with uh, latitude and longitude format right so actually this x and y are uh, what we call northings and eastings so when you are, whenever you are working with a uh, coordinate reference system in which the map units are in meters then you are going to get the coordinates like this northing we call x as northings and y is going to be uh, eastings so this is it and as i said you might not be familiar with these values these this format of coordinates you might want it in the latitude and longitude format and it can be easily done in qgis <clears throat> what you have to do is that i'm going back now and here this is our random points layer right and this layer is also having the same coordinate reference system epsg 7781 in which the map unit was in meters so if you change this into an another coordinate reference system in which the map unit will be in degrees then when you extract the coordinates the x and y will be longitude and latitude and that will be a familiar format right so all you have to do is that go to vector again go to data management tool and you have you can reproject the point random points layer into a coordinate reference system in which the map unit is in degrees so you are you already know in epsg 4326 the map unit will be in degrees so you can simply specify it it's been already specified and click run close it now these were the old points and we reprojected them into another CRS having degrees as its map unit. Remove the old layer of points from here. Done. And the reproject, I'm going to rename this as reprojected points. Hmm. Done. And I'm going to MMQGIS and going to import or export geometry export to CSV file choose that and you have to choose your the destination where you want to save your csv file so the file name is random points 2 click save and click apply the 100 points have been exported i'm going to close this and let's have a look at the uh, generated uh, CS, uh, csv file this is random points 2 okay so here the coordinate format is in you know we, we are familiar with these longitude and latitude right so here also it came as x and y but these x and y are nothing but the longitude and the latitude so if you look at the previous random points one you can see these are like you know on uh, northing and eastings values but this one is much familiar and you can remove the unwanted columns by right clicking and delete delete okay that's it so we have successfully uh, generated points within a polygon and uh, exported the corresponding coordinates into a csv file uh, in latitude and longitude format so thanks for watching uh, i'll be back with another video soon